these guys make a point that y'all Christians need, need to address, you hypocrite Christians. Right. Huh? I just saw an atheist actually make a video. It's an old video that I can't... Do you Christians really believe in that shit you peddle? Do you really believe in hell? Why the fuck are you not acting like it? Why do you just blow me off I'm trying to find some freaking answers? I hope you all go to your own hell. I'm across on YouTube. The guy who runs the magic shows, those atheist guys that like have like a, they, they watch people trick them and want to see the sleight of hand and they- Oh, um, yeah, I know he took that. He made a video was just saying, I have more respect for someone. If I knew you were going to get hit by a car and I believed I knew, you know, that you're going to get hit by a car and you don't go out of your way to do anything at all cost. Amen. To literally try to save someone from getting hit by that car that you know they're supposed to get hit by because you believe in hell. I have no respect for that Christian who thinks that people will go to hell and doesn't do a thing about it. Talking about you, Dr. John MacArthur. I begged you to address some questions I have. You're too busy with your loving wife to address my questions. Let me, let me tell you something. If your wife was not saved, you'd be doing everything you could to get, to get her saved because you love her because she's your flesh and blood. But someone like me, you don't give a damn. You, you don't give a damn. It is consciousness being manifest, human selfishness manifest in Christianity. What difference does Jesus really make in y'all's uh, life? You're just like the rest of us. Let me ask you this. If you could press a button and your wife was saved, and she'd die right now. You'd lose her. But it means saving my soul. Would you do it? Of course you fucking wouldn't. You don't love humanity. You love your circle of humanity. So fuck you, hypocrite. I hope I hope your wife succumbs to a tragedy. So you have to learn to love people. Because you are one unloving man. You're the only preacher I know can take something as loving and beautiful as a parable of the prodigal the son and make it into cardboard part cardboard box unloving stuffy pizza you have absolutely no love of god in your soul and because of that you are nothing read first corinthians 13 oh you love your family you love your in crowd of church so long as they don't so long as they keep coming to your church putting coming to your church You hypocrites! Do you really? You, why? Why? Do you, why? If you believed in hell, why are you not having sleep? It's not trying to get people saved. To whom much is given, much is required. You, you Christians are lazy. Look at John Wesley. He worked hard for the kingdom of God. He worked hard. He truly believed that stuff he was preaching. Hugh, John, Doctor John, 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 you filthy rich millionaire. Enjoying the fruits of your labor now instead of waiting to your pine sky afterlife. You hypocrite. Let me ask you this. Because I know if you had to choose between my salvation and your wife's salvation, you'd choose your wife. This is a cute picture, but I look at it and I want to puke. I should just, another reason you won't help me answer my fucking questions. And you need to learn some love and compassion by losing your wife. To a tragedy. She'll be in heaven waiting for you. Where's your faith, you hypocrite? You faithless hypocrite. Do you really believe in this stuff we preach? Why is it not making a difference in the lives of you? John Piper. I can't say Paul Washington because it's really making a difference in his life. He just doesn't love me enough to take time to ask my questions. So, you know. But at least he's... At least he... He's, he at least... Paul Walsh is full of love, so I can't condemn him, even though I'm pissed off at him for not answering my fucking question. He, he has love, but not enough love to reach out to someone like me. Let me ask you this. i show you just how human beings are selfish. Everybody has a breaking point. If you had a business, and you knew that to save this person, the hypothetical, this would never happen. Would you be really willing to let this person eat free whenever he came into your restaurant? 
I think he would if it meant the same number. So what if it meant anytime he wanted to, he could get any, anybody a free meal. And he started, you started losing profits. Got started going in debt. Would you, would you say yes? And let him, if it meant the salvation of a soul, would you say, God, please get rid of him? He's just collateral damage. Let him go to hell. You people, you born, I, it disgusts me. You, you, you cream of the crop celebrity, rich millionaire pastors disgust me. And I curse God because of you, Dr. John MacArthur, John, Mar John Piper, Franklin Graham, for the name of God is blasphemed among Gentiles because of you. And I curse the throne God sits on because he won't move you to answer my fucking questions. And he won't give you the wisdom to ask my questions. Let's see what else I got to say.